Hey folks, Matt here, and today we're going to open another exciting metalhead box, this time the 2LP version. Plus there's a lot of other good stuff in here as well, so definitely stay tuned. So the Metalhead Box is a monthly subscription service strictly for metalheads, and metalheads of all stripes. Uh, black metal, death metal, thrash metal, traditional heavy metal, you name it. And you get a lot of great stuff in these boxes. You can get a combination of LPs, CDs, download cards, patches, stickers, autographs, you name it. And it should be mentioned that the folks who choose what goes into these boxes are actual metalheads, so they definitely know their stuff. And they definitely got me right last time. Last box was really fantastic. Eager to open this one, see if they got me right again. Let's see what we got. First item is a Slaughter Beanie. Uh, no, not the late 80s hard rock band, but uh, this is a Canadian band, uh, Death and Thrash kind of combination, a little bit of punk rock influence, you, you can hear it. Uh, they had an album back in the late 80s called Strapado. Decent record, kind of an underground classic. Haven't heard too much from this band since, so this might be more of a nostalgia item than anything else, but uh, a beanie, interesting choice. Uh, in northern Vermont, we call these toques, probably because of the Canadian influence right around the border. Um, good stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll wear it, but, you know, it's good to have. Next up, uh, a lot of these boxes contain tribute pins in a series, in fact, exclusive pins to be precise. This is the Watane pin. It's got the nice Trident Wolf design there. Uh, pretty cool. I don't know a lot about Watane. I know they have a bit of a black metal thing going on. They've been around for a little bit. Uh, maybe this will make me want to check them out. I don't know. But um, the pin is pretty amazing. So I'm definitely going to hang on to this. Maybe check out the band a little bit more. See if I want to like them, keep the pin, all of that. Next up, the shirt offering. Let's take a look at this. Ah, Gorguts. Let's do a little bit of a show there. Pretty cool shirt. I like the design a lot. Uh, Gorguts, another Canadian band. Uh, they are a death metal band. And uh, Considered Dead was the big album in the early 90s. It's the one I remember, especially during my college radio days. I like the band. Haven't heard much from them since. Uh, I do know they're still around. And uh, maybe this shirt will be the uh, reason to check them out a little bit further, uh, especially the modern stuff, because I would really like to wear this shirt. Man, look at that. Oh, love it. Love it. And it looks like we've got the LPs next. Let's take a look at what we got. This is Sinistro with Cemente. Uh, this is a Portuguese band, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they do kind of a doom thing, a little bit of atmospheric stuff. Um, I've heard some stuff in the past. I haven't heard this particular album. Uh, the hype sticker says, Owing to the roots of Neurosis and Isis, Sinistro quickly drops the decibels for a dreamlike showcase. Uh, keeps going stunning vocals, uh, resolute heartache in every phrase. Um, NPR is the, uh, the reviewer there. That's kind of interesting. Um, cool cover. I'm going to take it out of its plastic here so we can take a better look at it. There it is. Uh, gatefold, of course. There's that. Uh, looks like you get lyrics on the gatefold. I don't know how I feel about lyrics on the gatefold. I do prefer them on the, uh, the inner sleeve, but neither here nor there. Uh, there's the back. Uh, Seasons of Mist. Good uh, label and distro there. And looks like we've got plain old black. Good old reliable black. Excellent. So I will definitely be checking these folks out. Uh, again, I've heard one or two tracks, but it's been a while too. So yeah, I'll give this a spin. I might even keep it for sure. Next vinyl is, oh, look at that. This is Hazard with Delirium. You might remember last video for the Metalhead box opening. Uh, I got a Hazard shirt. So now I have the album. This is Delirium, as I said. This is their newest album. They had an album called Misleading Evil, I think, in 2017. I've heard a bit of that. Haven't heard this one as much, but I'm pretty excited to hear it based on what I've heard before. Um, great stuff. Um, more Canadian uh, metal, this time thrash metal. Uh, good stuff. I'm really excited to hear this. This is probably my favorite of the two records that I got. And uh, yeah, really excited. And while we're at it, while I'm thinking about it, let's take a look at the vinyl. And it's kind of interesting there with a blue-green kind of 
I can't even call it marble, maybe a swirl almost pattern to it. Uh, pretty nice. That'll look good on the turntable and probably sound pretty good too. All right, and lastly, we've got the autograph card. I'm gonna take it out of plastic here. Uh, these are also exclusive to the Metalhead box. So that's the thing to look for with these Metalhead boxes. You get things you're not gonna get anywhere else. And it, it, that's one of the best reasons to get it. Besides the whole surprise factor, I like getting stuff I'm not, I don't know what it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be within a certain genre or two. You can choose your genres. Um, and they try to match it up as much as they possibly can. But uh, this is Kelly McLaughlin from I Am Morbid and Pessimist. Uh, I Am Morbid was that project, it was a live project that David Vincent and Morbid Angel did with a bunch of other folks uh, covering, I think, songs from the first four Morbid Angel albums, basically the stuff Vincent wrote with the band. And uh, so you might recognize him from that. Also, Pessimist, uh, pretty cool band. I've just recently heard about them, really wanted to check into them because a buddy of mine just got an album from them and he's been talking it up. So uh, this would be cool. Um, I would definitely put this with the rest of my autograph cards. And uh, yeah, you can also go to facebook.com slash Kelly McLaughlin. Check him out on Facebook. Fantastic. And that's it for the January Metalhead Box. If you're wanting to get your own, you should definitely check out their website. It'll be linked in the description of this video. Also check out the various variants Various variants. Doesn't that sound great? Uh, the Metalhead box comes in a number of different styles. Uh, there are vinyl boxes, there are some cassette boxes and CD boxes, they have the mini box, and there's a mega box coming, and plus the whole genre specific thing. So you should definitely check that out at the website listed in the description. You should do it, definitely. Also, before I forget, uh, they do have flash sales at their website as well. Uh, flash sales are basically the content from previous metalhead boxes that aren't available anymore except through the flash sale or through trades. You can go through Facebook. There are trade groups as well. But check out the site for the flash sales because I know for sure I'm going to because there's a pin I wanted really bad and it came out in November, I think, and I missed out on it. So I'm waiting for it to show up. Then I'm going to grab it then. So you should do that. Also, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments section. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What were your favorite items in the box this time around? Definitely let me know all of that and more in the comments. And of course, I'd like it if you shared this video, like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. All of that definitely helps get the word out, and I love getting the word out, so there you go. And as always, take care and ever forward.